Hey what's going on YouTube Paradox here and welcome back to another One Piece Bounty Rush video So today another Sobama's gameplay and Because I'm just you know having so much fun with this guy And I'm gonna go through a bit on his trait So he's got a shield with him And it is 10% of his max HP So while you have that shield uh, you won't take damage You also won't be inflicted with uh, status effects yeah And then um, he's got really good skill 1 cooldown the reason is because if you look at his skill one, right, it uh, it is actually stealth, which gives you, which puts you in invisible state where no one can see you, other than your teammates, I think. Uh, so opponent cannot see you at all, and they cannot even target you and attack you. And uh, while in that, uh, while having that skill activated, of course your job is to capture treasure. And when you do so, you will have 50% cooldown time. Of skill one uh, reduction uh, so that is like basically reduced to half yeah skill one is reduced to half and also you can gain back 50% of your shield yeah uh, if let's say it's gone or yeah I mean if, if it's like half half it will be filled in up till full so uh, when you perform a perfect dodge you also become invisible for five seconds only uh, whereas with the skill, it's 10 seconds. Yeah, invisibility effect time. Uh, so this guy doesn't have HP recovery uh, uh, whenever he captures flag or whenever he uses his skill. But uh, he's got another trait where he says here when your team has less treasure secured, boost CD reduction speed of skill 1 by 50%. So yeah, like 50% cooldown time uh, reduction uh, whenever he captures a flag. So yeah, skill 1 cooldown time is cut by half and it also boosts by 50% if you have less treasure secured in other words if you use his skill properly if you use his skill to capture flag yeah uh, you will easily get back your skill one and you can continue using it to capture another flag if if needed so i'm using defensive uh, metal set defensive build so defense and hp lucy metal whenever he capture a flag he he has a uh, five percent hp recovery also, Scalpel Medal, um, Capture Speed is boosted by 8% when his HP is more than 70%. So, attacks are quite decent. Skill 1, 14%. Capture Speed, 14%. Other than that, uh, I'm using uh, my support. I'm using 7 Warlord support because I want to extend his invisibility effect time. Yes, you know, if you use 7 Warlord's um, support, you can actually extend his invisible effect time by 3 seconds. So I'm using a sorry, I'm utilizing attacker, seven warlords, paramecia, captain, and also grand line all at level 600. I've got some striat pirates and new world. And um, the reason why I have to mix with blue element is because there are not many green seven warlords character. Yeah, I think we only have three, if not mistaken. Yeah, and my boa is not like level 100 yet. I mean, I just need another copy of her technically. But it is what it is, let's get into the gameplay, shall we? Alright, let's first match is at Land of Wano. We've got Kaido, EX, Luffy, Yamato. Man, going against Kaido is so tough, bro. 194k total party power. And we are going against 192k. Which is just, you know, 2k lesser. So, not that much. And let's go. So, a lot of people I've been seeing and hearing, a lot of people are saying Sanji or Sobamas is trash, he's mid. Bruh, come on. You you get the message wrong, man. Like, you see, I think you missed the point. Red suit Sanji or Stealth Black or Sobamas is designed to be this way. He is designed to be a pure runner. And his job is to capture the flag silently. And... I don't, I don't get why people are saying he's bad because of that. Yeah, like I mean, look at him. Okay, okay. So right now I become invisible, and okay. So I was a bit unlucky here. So this Luffy is, you know, he just randomly uses his normal attack, but somehow he doesn't even realize that I'm there. Okay, so I was a bit late in perfect dodging this, and look at that, guys. Like, I mean, my Sanji is level 80, bro, and. Even though I'm using like um, defense and HP build on him, that is not even optimized, bro. And dude, level 80 with not very high support, he can tank all these hits. And look at that, perfect dodge, he got 5 seconds of invisibility. Again, another perfect dodge, so my invisibility effect time is extended. And before my 
uh, invisible effect uh, is gone, right? I use my skill 1 to gain it back again. So, you see, if you use his skill 1, right, if you use it only to capture flag, bro, you can easily get it back and you can, you know, use your skill 1 again to become invisible and move on to other flag. Okay, as you can see here, I was disturbed a bit, okay, no, no problem, but then, boom, once I capture the flag, 50% percent uh, CD reduction of skill 1 and I gain back my skill 1 so I use it again all right you know I'm going to of course find another flag um, movement is a bit slow here yeah because I was hit by that Kaido skill so got team boost use my skill uh, just to uh, help my ally here and obviously I'm not gonna stay and fight with this Kaido but you know, I'm just trying my best to hurt him while I have my team boost but yeah, it's really hard, but dude, look at that. Even though that Kaido is not level 100 and you know, my Sanji, my Sobamas is level 80, I'm still able to tank some hits. So if you guys are saying that he's squishy, I think that is wrong, man. Yeah, that is wrong. Like, if you are fighting a Kainu and you say he's squishy, yeah, you're wrong. Like, dude, come on, it's a Kainu, bro. And okay, guys, look here. This is like, like very important. You can see how Sanji, Sobamas, if used right, can change the match can turn the table to your you know to your team um so i've got like roughly less than 10 seconds use my skill one honestly we are supposed to lose this match if only opponent knows that i'm there but i quickly go to deflect capture it and boom right when the match ends last minute clutch bring the team to victory now guys sanji or sobamas is designed to not be involved in fight it even says in his skill 1 des description, if he becomes invisible, if you use normal attack, you use your skill or even you are attacked by an opponent, you will lose that invisibility. And because of that, Sobamas, right, when I use him, because I know his main purpose is to capture flag, I never use him, not never lah, but rarely use him to fight opponent. Only in desperate situation, I use him to fight opponent. But yeah, if I use his skill one i will usually go and capture flag so somehow you know the disadvantage here is actually not on him it's on bandai's it's on opbr's scoring system like you see if your main activity or your main task is to is not is to but if you only capture flags right sadly you don't get much score but it is what it is like i said it is not Sobamas to be blamed. It is he is designed to capture flag silently, capture flag invisibly, and somehow OPBR doesn't reward him because of that. I think it's not his fault. But what matters for me, right? If you have Red Suit Sanji, if you have Stealth Black as your ally, don't mind him if he got low score, but judge him by the amount of flags that he capture. If he capture more than three flags, like I think minimum should be four flags. Okay, if you use Sobamas, minimum should be four flags, and that is like really good already. Because honestly, this is a treasure hunt game. You know, there are only five flags. Uh, one team only need three flags to uh, to win the match, and there are four players in one team. So for a runner to get more than three flags, to get four flags and above. That is an awesome feat, guys. Like, I'm not lying. Like, you see, if there are two or three allies, uh, sorry, two or three opponents, they are good enough to defend the flag and not leave it alone, yeah? It's really hard for Sobamas to uh, steal a flag. But, yeah, like I said, um, four flags minimum is good enough for uh, Sobamas. And if, let's say, your ally have that amount of uh, flags captured, that means he did his job well and if let's say he did lower than that honestly i think it's not even his fault uh, i do agree that this guy doesn't have that much fighting power but dude this guy honestly have knockback and if you use it right if you're able to knock back opponent you can actually have enough time to steal a flag if let's say the treasure gauge is not full uh, i think right personally i think his skill 2 is bad I think it should be able to deal much more damage than that but it's hard for me to judge because my Sobamas right now is only level 80. Alright so now back to the game, I turn invisible, 
Okay, so try to capture the flag even though I know that White Beard is aware that I'm there because I think he can see that you know the treasure gauge is reducing. But thanks to my god Uso ally, he was stunned. I use my skill, alright, hit him, and things are looking good. Yeah, so we've got team boost at the very very last seconds, like 10 seconds left. We've got team boost. We should be able to um, you know and uh guard the flag well i almost lost the flag yeah we almost lost the flag but thank god this god also is i mean he's amazing bro like um honestly the last few seconds uh he definitely saved the game so lucky if you're watching this video kudos to you thanks man for being such a good ally see six flags captured and i'm the lowest score guy because it is what it is it is opbr scoring system that sucks not uh sobamas sobamas is cool yeah um, the way he was designed, the way how his trade works, he is meant to actually capture the flag and not to be involved in any fight. He's basically a pure runner. So again, I would like to stress, I would like to emphasize that, guys, if you are angry, if you say that he's trash, I'm sorry, but you're me. Yeah, I'm sorry, but you, you don't get the point. Also, also, I think this is one of Bandai's effort trying to make OPBR more balanced. I mean, guys, look. He's a runner and he got the best trait ever as a runner which is you know being invisible not to be seen at all by the opponent even though you just run past like right beside them dude that is like the most op trait ever anyone can ever have so for him to have that op trait and to be more broken like to have hp recovery like skill one is already like very quick like i said if you know how to use it well like dude honestly guys if you use your skill one and you don't capture flag then yes you know you have to wait for a long time to get back your skill one but if you if you capture flag man it's so easy to get it back and you, you can just like continuously repeat whatever it is that you are doing which is you know become visible capture a flag and then you know gain back your skill one and then repeat so yeah like um and and to be frank right if you want hp recovery it's not a problem dude just just use uh, a metal set that have that unique trait uh among example that i can give like i think the best one maybe yeah if you want like to go for hp recovery with this guy is lucy uh event medal pet with um senior pink and uh, another set if let's say your sobamas is at level 100 right you can use um Lofi or bounce man yeah, just to have you know more text going on so yeah so um, if you use this metal set easily you can get like 10 percent hp recovery every time when you capture a flag and for me i think that is like decent enough guys that is really decent considering the fact that you know he can regain his shield back like his shield honestly is quite helpful even though it is not much but like i said it is decent enough for him to stay alive for him to survive and move on to other flag yeah so don't use his shield to fight opponent of course you know it is not tanky enough to receive damage i mean this guy is not like young dofi where his shield is like crazy strong crazy durable yeah it is just enough for him to get away and like i said because he is designed to be like that he is designed to only focus on capturing flag and yeah like okay look at this uh, uh mesh right, uh, right here so we have roughly 25 seconds left yeah so i become invisible so not many i mean I, I don't think opponent is aware that i'm there especially this god Russo. so i was a bit unlucky yeah because i was hit by the um uh, kaido's skill too but i used my skill not back ex luffy and capture this flag okay look here boom last minute clutch boys last minute clutch like if i wasn't there if I don't capture that flag, for sure we are going to lost the match. Yeah. So again, the lowest score, guy, 3.7k, bro. Like that is like really low. But I did my job. I captured like four flags, bro. And I wasn't rewarded for it. But it's not my fault. It's not the character's fault. It's the scoring system's fault. Okay. So moving on. Uh, last match. So 201k total party power. And we are going against um, 194k. So yeah, yeah, a bit lesser. They have another Sobamas as well. So uh, five star boost two, similar to mine. And let's go. So with Sobamas, honestly, I think even though this guy is not quick, but he he's definitely able to get that mid flag. Yeah, especially with his shield. Like if opponent is attacking, right? 
uh, honestly, he'll be saved. And uh, if, let's say, you know, your luck is good, you can actually capture the big flag. Okay, so I jump down, use my skill one, and thankfully, this young Dofi is here. So he used his shield at a right location, right spot. So, bro, if you are watching again, heads off, man. Like, I don't know if you realize that I'm there, but that location is so good. You know, you block Akainu from uh, being able to hit whoever it is who are capturing. And that is so nice. Okay, I messed up a bit here. Like, I, I shouldn't have used my skill one because no one is there. But, hey, no problem. Look at that. Like, I, I just need to wait for a few seconds and I can easily get back my skill one. No problem at all. So, okay, I was fighting with another... Uh, Soba mask, but yeah, so I was out of shield and he hurts me quite bad and uh, Thank God that Marco is able to capture the flag. So I use my skill one again And okay, this is this is the funny part bro. Like look at this uh, young Dofi So I think he's anticipating for me to be there So I go behind him and boom sneak attack. So thank God we've got team boost So yeah, that is like another plus with this guy. I think He's not like the best counter for Young Dofi, but he at least is able to hurt him like, you know, quite a lot and manage to maybe throw him off of his um, card. Because you know how Young Dofi, they, they felt like really secured behind their own uh, walls, right? But yeah, um, with a Red Suit Sanji, cause, uh, since you are able to sneakily attack them from behind, yeah, you, you can actually throw them off card. Okay, so, um, so far, so good. There's Oden here. Try to dodge and use my skill one straight away because I don't want Oden to attack me. But I, you know, leave him be because, again, like I said, my main job is to capture more flags. Flags, flags, and flags. If you use Soba Mask, that is what you should only have in your mind. Of course, you know, in the very, very last second, your job is to defend flag so yeah try to read the situation and uh, uh, try to decide accordingly okay so right now 30 seconds man we almost lost this flag so instead of looking for another flag i decided to defend it especially because i have team boost yeah so thank god uh this sabo is here so i think this is some easy so uh yeah man i mean if you're watching some easy thanks man um Thanks for saving me from Whitebeard. So again, I'm just, you know, chilling here. Because like I said, it is important to defend flag when needed. And I use my skill. Last two seconds and boom. I'm able to guard that flag. Even though my allies are helping me as well. Uh, obviously, it's a team's game. And uh, GG's to all. So that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, please like the video. And forgive my rant. I just find Sanji, uh, like, you know... We don't do him justice, but it is what it is. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Take care. Ciao.